welcome. Today I'd like to talk to you about the magic shop. I found this on the internet. I don't know if you can see this. I thought it was fantastic, so I printed it out. <clears throat> what I love about it, and if you're familiar with magic shops, you know this is really unusual. First of all, I love the, the uh, hardwood uh, flooring. I love the wood counter space. But what really stands out to me is the organization. Everything is neatly organized in shelves. The display, the close-up pads for demonstration. Everything looks pristine. I think if I were to run a magic shop, this is the way I'd like to run. By the way, I am running a magic shop. It's just not a brick and mortar place. They have a magic shop here online. It's called David's Magic Shop. I'm going to put the link below. Please check it out. Uh, but this is what I would want a brick and mortar shop to look like. Now, why is a brick and mortar shop important? It's important to have personal interaction. It's important to have personal instruction. It's important for magicians to have a place to gather and be together. Now I know that the Society of American Magicians and the IBM can meet in other locations. In fact, when I was active in the Society of American Magicians, very often we met in individual homes. That's fine. There's nothing like meeting in a magic shop. I want to show you this image. This is an image of what I would consider to be the heyday of the Yogi Magic Mart. This is Phil Thomas right here. This is Dave Raymer. This is uh, Phil's wife. This image, this is exactly as I remember the shop when I went there. I would go in and Phil would say to me, you buy the secret, David, the trick is thrown in for free. And so I buy the secret. And what they would do at the Yogi Magic Mart is, they would sit down, usually Dave, would sit down and demonstrate the, uh, the effect and teach the effect. Dave would sit down with you or Phil or wh whoever was available would sit down and coach you through the effect. There was nothing like the customer service I got from Phil Thomas. Of course, he used to say, read books, my boy. That was another one of his famous things. He's the one that sold me the Mark Wilson Course in Magic, and I still use that book to this day. So thank God for Phil Thomas. By the way, after Phil Thomas retired, I used to go visit him in his private home. And he would watch videotapes of my performances, and he would critique them. He would give me advice. He had a vast library, and he would lend me books out of his library. He was a great guy, and we, we continued to be terrific friends after he retired. But the magic shops of my life uh, really inspired me, and, and that's why I wanted to open my own. And so I have. It's called David's Magic Shop. I'm going to put the link below. Please check it out. It's not a brick and mortar. I wish it were. I'll tell you what. Here's what's going to happen. If it's, if it's successful, if people respond to what I'm doing in the, ma in the magic shop, I'm going to grow it. And my ambition would be this. So we'll see what happens, okay? We'll, 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 I'll keep you posted. But I want to give you a little bit of history of my experience with the magic shop and why they're important and why you need to support them. <clears throat> the Joker's Wild was the first magic shop that I remember. <clears throat> now, it could have been the Yogi Magic Martin. I think it was the Joker's Wild. Uh, when I started getting really interested in magic, <clears throat> my father took me to this place. And I would work to save money to go in there and buy effects. But the Joker's Wild was the first shop that I remember. I think it was on Bel Air Road in, in Baltimore. Uh, it was there that I bought the sword and die effect. And you can see that if you, if you, the, uh, the first video that I ever posted in this vlog was the sword and die effect. So you can scroll down and take a look at that. I bought that at the Joker's Wild. Uh, I also saw the Professor's Nightmare for the first time at the Joker's Wild. <clears throat> but it didn't take long before I started going to the Yogi Magic Mart. The Yogi Magic Mart, and this is a picture of the Magic Mart. And you can, you can contrast the difference here. If you can see the, the way the countertop is, the way the shelves are versus this, a typical magic shop is a mess. And if you've ever been in Denny's shop, oh, he, would, he could find anything. And Denny, do you have this? Oh, yeah. And he'd pull it out, you know, because he knew where everything was. But uh, it just looked like chaos to anyone from the outside coming into a magic shop and chaos. 
But um, but the Yogi Gigi Magic Bar, now I used to go down on Saturdays. My father would take me down in the morning. He'd come and pick me up late at night after the clubs were all done meeting. And, uh, and I remember that the shop was not on the first floor. It was along Charles Street in the city. So it was one of those, you know, those row home uh, brownstone type structures. And so you'd go up the stairs and, and enter into this, this wonderland. I, I remember as a, as a young kid coming in and seeing a zigzag illusion just sitting there on the floor and then seeing a sub trunk up close. I mean, I, I was thrilled to get near these things. I would eventually perform them, but at, that, at the time they were so out of reach to me. I was buying, you know, I was buying little tricks and, and trying to build a repertoire that way. But, uh, but I remember going down there every Saturday. Phil, Phil would have me run errands for him. I would even, I mean, here I am a teenager, right? And I'm going to the bank for him, de depositing his, his, uh, his uh, deposits and so on. So I did, but he would give me a trick at the end of the day for running those errands, which was really cool too. After Phil closed his shop, um, most of the guys started going over to the Funhouse Magic Shop. The proprietor was Lou Walston. What a great guy. I mean, it was there that that uh, the, the clubs were really... I mean, the clubs were big at the Yogi Magic Mart. Don't get me wrong. But uh, but Lou had his own group, group, and he was the first... Really, it was the first time I experienced a professional lecture was at the Funhouse Magic Shop. And it was the first time... That, uh, elect, the lecture circuit, the way it worked, uh, professional magicians would, would tour along the lecture circuit. And, uh, and share the, the very best of their repertoire. And, and it is a great way to learn. Now, Denny, Denny made an art of it uh, when he opened his shop. He used to have a route. I mean, you'd get a lecture coming into the fun house maybe once every three or four months. Denny had them every week, sometimes two or three times a week. So uh, he really stepped it up. But many years later, after the Funhouse Magic Shop closed down, there was another dearth in, in the Baltimore area. And, uh, and, and Denny picked that up. Denny opened the Denny and Lee Magic Emporium. And we used to go down there and sit on the sofa and talk shop. And uh, Denny, Denny, it didn't matter what time of the morning, afternoon, or evening, Denny was there. And it was a fantastic experience. Uh, there is a shop open now in Pennsylvania. I think it's run by Scott Alexander. A sort of a tribute shop that Denny, I haven't been up there yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting up there and seeing it. Uh, now, that's the brick and mortar shop. Uh, locally, you have the Magic Warehouse run by Howard Katz. Howard, if you're watching, I wish you the very best. Um, but there are a number of internet dealers. Now, I'm an internet dealer, technically. Uh, I'm only selling uh, things that either I'm writing, uh, writing uh, tips to or books that I think you should have. So I'm very selective. I'm not yet uh, what you would call a full-blown dealer. I'm working toward that, but not quite yet. But there are some dealers I want to call your attention to online and for various reasons. Penguin Magic. Penguin Magic. I love Penguin Magic. Uh, they're, they're always bringing out new stuff. If you're on their list, you get stuff every single day. You get to look at the, the latest trick of the day. But what I really love about Penguin Magic is their lecture series. Uh, their lectures, they bring in the very best to do a lecture, and then you can purchase that for anywhere from $25 to $40, depending. Uh, but I have an entire library full of them, and, and they're just fantastic. So I recommend you check out Penguin Magic for their video instructional series. Uh, just great. Dan Harlan hails out of Penguin. Fantastic. Vanishing Magic. At first, I kind of thought Vanishing Magic was just going to be another magic shop. I really did. I mean, there's, there's tons of them out there. But these guys have distinguished themselves. And one of the things that they've done is they've started publishing really unique books, really special material. And you can only get it, and this is one of the things that makes a, a, a dealer successful, is when you can only get it from them. Now, now, uh, now in fairness, Vanishing Magic uh, will sell their books through other dealers. That's, that's true. But they're producing the material. And I think that is just, and when they produce something, you know, I buy it. Uh, they produce quality material. 
uh, Alakazam, Alakazam in the UK. Uh, I, I love, they do a, a regular vlog like this, but they'll, they'll, dem they'll do dealer demonstrations in their vlog. I think it's fantastic. And they come up with new material. They actually manufacture uh, effects that they then will sell through other dealers. But still, again, if they've created it, I tend to want to buy it from them. So I do, even though they're in the UK, uh, they, they ship promptly and it comes quickly and I've never had any problem. So folks, that is a, that is a little bit about the magic shop. I think magic shops are so important to your growth as a magician. If you possibly can, I don't know where you live, but, but take a look, uh, do a Google search, uh, magic shops near me and uh, get out there and visit. Really get out there and visit folks. Hey, Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and comment down below. I love your comments. I will see you next time. Have a great day.